Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Leatherman Style CS. Please stay tuned. Those of you who have been following my channel know that in my EDC right now, I am carrying my Gerber Dime <laughs> along with my Cold Steel American Lawman, which... Uh, I still, I, I just cannot take this out of my EDC. I love it that much. But this is what I carry for my small multi-tool. I don't like carrying a large one. If it, if I had just a large one, I probably wouldn't carry any multi-tool at all. So I was walking around Target, and they had the Leatherman Style CS. Now they do have, not in Target, but they do have a slightly different edition called the PS, where instead of scissors here as the main tool, you get pliers. Now um, you get six tools in here, 25 year warranty, and um, we'll go over the tools here once we zoom in closer. Now, nowhere on the packaging does it say where it's made, but I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that all the Leatherman products are made here in the USA, um, I believe in Oregon. So again, on the packaging here, you can see that it does say six tools, and there's the 25-year warranty right there on the bottom, and there's a description of the tools there. They also give you some other features one thing to point out is the closed length is 2.9 inches and the weight is 1.4 ounces and again we'll go over all these other details here when we're taking a close look at the tool itself 100 percent stainless steel body and the blade itself is 428c wow uh, i'll tell you this thing is Pretty light, <laughs> very light. Again, I'm keeping close at hand the Gerber Dime, which has been my EDC for the last uh, third of a year, third or half of the year. And I'll tell you, this is uh, at least a, an ounce heavier. It, it's amazing. So let's take a look at the scissors real quick. You can see um, they they appear to be very nice. They're spring loaded, so you don't have to pull them back apart. Really nice. You can see right there, right there is where it sort of, I guess, has that spring in to push it apart. Now, to get to the other tools, you close the scissors, which is nice. That means everything else is easily accessible without having to open up the tool, which I like. So, let's take a look at the blade. It has a nice lock up it's a slip joint so it you know it doesn't lock but um there is no play <laughs> at all and you can see it looks like it's a full flat grind drop point you have a nail nick right there and it's a chisel grind so you can see right there the grind on the edge and there is none on the other side so it's similar like victory nux the uh the Swiss Army knives usually have this going on. Doesn't affect the sharpness. It's just uh, will affect the way that you sharpen this blade. And we'll, we'll test the sharpness here shortly here at the end. It's just amazing how thin and light this is. It's it's really awesome the way Le Leatherman seems to do a very good job getting everything nice, thin, tight, um, well engineered compared to uh, let's say Gerber. Now, the, and here's another tool. We have the nail file. So I can file my crusty nails. And again, there's a nail nick. It's funny, there's a nail nick on the other side that you can't use when it, it's, there's no way you could use that nail nick right in there. You have to uh, use this one right here that's sort of in where the, the, the medium sandpaper kind of stuff is here. And on the end, is a screwdriver that you could use for small flatheads or small Phillips. Right there. Other tools include the carabiner, which also is the alias bottle opener. So you could uh, just put this on the bottle and pop that brewski open and be the envy of everybody at the bar. 
Uh, now there is a one more tool hiding in this multi-tool right there. What's that? Let's take a look. We have tweezers. Tweezers. Tweezers are very important, especially when you're out there in the wild and you got to pick out that tick. Or if you're uh, one of them woodworkers and getting those uh, splinters out. And again, to put it in, you just simply put it back in its hole and push it closed. And it's secure in there. It's not coming out. Very nice. Uh, it's just a, you know, I'm, sh I'm sure this is going to be a pleasure to carry because compared to the Gerber dime, this thing is about a third thinner, an ounce lighter. <laughs> but uh, I am losing something by uh, switching to the Gerber dime, and that's these nice pliers right there although I'm getting a better pair of scissors because the, the Gerber scissors are smaller although they're they're still good and um, the other thing that I'm sort of the knife on here uh, I like there's the Gerber I like the knife that comes with the Leatherman better I like the shape much better than the Gerbers you can see the two compared there I prefer this guy's blade and the other thing that I'm giving up by switching to this smaller lighter tool is a bigger screwdriver and where's that funky uh, here it is this is the uh, clamshell packaging opener which I rarely use I usually end up just using a knife anyway and never use this so I really never used it although you know I did use the pliers in this thing quite a bit and also wire cutter right there but you could use the scissors to cut the same wire that you would with that on this so that's fine so I'll be carrying this um, probably for at least a month see if there's any problems that there are I will let you know so let's go ahead and do a paper cut test so you could either carry around one of these little guys or you could carry around a big giant pair of scissors which I prefer not to do so let's go ahead and see how well this cuts paper where are they? there they are huh? oh you want me to use the knife I'm supposed to use the knife for the paper cut tests I'm just being silly alright let's uh, take a look at this Okay, it's, a, it's not the sharpest knife, but I mean, it's it's cutting paper with no problem. But, um, you know, it feels a little gritty. Uh, I can't push cut with this. So, I would say um, it, it's sharp enough, but it, it could use some touching up. It does hold on to my nail like that. So, not too bad. One of the things I failed to point out is, although most of the stuff is stainless steel, it does have a little bit of glass-filled nylon right here on one scale. <laughs> so, I don't know, if you're the type of person that has that likes to have a carabiner on the multi-tool, or you could, you know, you put something through the hole right there, or a lanyard or whatever, this could be the, the small multi-tool of choice. Now... As far as rating this, I um, am, am hesitant to give it a super, super high mark, although the quality and workmanship on this is really nice because I'm sort of sacrificing some tools. It's kind of light on the amount of tools it has. Uh, it, it says it has a count of six. The uh, Leatherman Micra is a little bit smaller than this and has more stuff packed in there but it doesn't have as big as scissors again this thing is centered around some very large scissors considering the size of this tool which is 2.9 inches when closed and it's very very thin and very very light again it's only 1.4 ounces so I'm going to give this a very um, strong 8 out of 10 it's almost 9 out of 10, depending on what you pay for it. 
you know, I've seen it as low as $15 and as high as a little over 20 So, you know, if you get this thing for 15 or a little bit less, I would, I would give it a 9 out of 10. But uh, for the rest, normal price, 8 out of 10. So, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession Channel. I really appreciate every Fred viewer, subscriber, and you. And I hope you have a great evening. Take care. Bye.